Hi, I'm Irving from Equitech. I'm here today to talk to you about ECU Connect for the Mazda MX-5 ND, available around 2015. And our particular example here is turbocharged uh, with a BBR turbo conversion. ECU Connect can be purchased from Equitech Tuners Worldwide. Um, our Bluetooth vehicle interface connects to the vehicle's OBD2 socket. And then using um, an Android device, you can download the app for free from the Google Play Store. Or an iPhone or an iPad, we can connect to the Bluetooth vehicle interface. So in this particular example, um, we're using an iPhone. We open the ECU Connect app. And we've got the main menu here. And you can see here we have the main, my car, archive and dealer locator. Dealer locator shows us where our nearest Equitech dealer is. Uh, the ones in red shown are the master tuners. We can choose dealers by vehicle type as well. When we go back, we've got the archive. This is where the performance test results, the DTCs and the data logging results are all stored. Um, you can see here the DTCs, the log files, and a performance test result that was done earlier today. Um, you can see 0 to 60, 0 to 100, and when we share this with our friends, Facebook, email, text message, it produces a performance card um, that you can share with your friends. We go back, back to the main menu, and we're going to connect to my car, and we see the, the main menu for the MX-5. Um, We've got the ignition turned on there. Um, so the first screen is information. We go to the info, we see the engine control module. And when we go in, we see the calibration ID of this particular vehicle. More importantly, at the bottom, we see the race ROM is installed in ECU, and we see that it supports the app, ECU Connect. We go back, another standard feature of ECU Connect is the data login, high-speed data login, lots of login parameters. And when we want to add and remove login parameters, then the important parameters are the Equitech ones that are shown in red. So you can see here there's some custom speed density ones shown in red, simply tick or untick to remove them from the login list. Now the ECU is currently displaying, ECU Connect is currently displaying the data. When we choose start, it starts recording and saving that to file. If while we're recording something happens, an event that we want to mark in the log file, we just choose add mark and that will increment a value in the log file each time. We choose stop, we go back. Next one is DTC tool. This reads um, engine DTCs and shows them along with um, TCM DTCs. Just reading the vehicle, uh, no DTCs found there. Clear them quite easily. We go back, back to the main menu again. Um, as discussed earlier, performance analyzer. This shows us the 0 to 60 quarter mile, and we can choose which tests we'd like to do by choosing the setting button. Simply add and remove the tests as we, as we wish. Go back, start new run, prompts you to stop the vehicle, not on public roads please. Ready for the test, as soon as you drive off it starts recording and saving the data. And Once complete or you lift off, it then shows you the data results. You can choose to save them or share them as required. Abort back we're going to go now to a custom race rom feature so you have to have race rom in the ecu for this to work but we've got map switching here and what the map switching allows us to do is control the boost pressure so on this on this naturally aspirated uh, mx5 nd we fitted the turbocharger and we've actually fitted a wastegate solenoid that we can control with race rom so this gives us four different power outputs so you can see here in mode one target pressure is 0.3 bar boost around 190 horsepower mode 3 it's 0.7 bar boost 250 horsepower uh, mode 4 um, is 1 bar boost 280 plus horsepower so these are features that are only available with Equitech uh, using RaceROM and are only available to be controlled using ECU Connect <laughs>